Today's recital is called A Journey Through the Ages of Tradition. And why is it called A Journey Through the Ages? Because in classical music, there's various ages, starting from the Renaissance, the Baroque period, the classical, romantic, and the contemporary. So Miss Karunisa has prepared for you a history of uh, operas throughout this time, and we're going to go according to the timeline, starting from Baroque. The first piece that she will present is Tonami Avagega, which is from the opera Alasina, written by Handel. It was written in the year 1735. It speaks of a love that uh, the character has, which is Morgana, has for a, uh, a, a woman which is disguised as a man. So it was quite a funny story. Some of the notes, uh, the program notes will have given you some background this part. Uh, essentially, it's a very long love song uh, from, from Ghana to, uh, to the, the lady who she is discussed. So, without further ado, let's start. Thank <laughs> you. 
Don Giovanni composed by Mozart. It was composed in the year 1787. Don Giovanni is a young, promiscuous nobleman. He has conquered 640 women and girls in Italy, conquered 231 girls in Germany, hundreds in France, 91 in Turkey, and 1,003 in Spain. So he is quite a successful um, womanizer. <laughs> So this character that Nana, uh, Karunisa is going to sing is uh, Zelina, is in fact a peasant. So she is getting married to her husband, which is Masetto. However, during their procession, uh, Don Giovanni saw her. So of course he's up to his scheming and trying to seduce her. So the opera is quite uh, interesting. I shall not dwell into too much of a detail. But this scene is especially um, interesting because uh, her fiancé or husband, Masetto, is angry with her because uh, he saw that Don Giovanni has tried all sorts of effort to, to be alone with her and succeeded. However, he did not, uh, she, she maintained her integrity, let's put it that way. Yeah, but so, so she's singing this song and asking her husband uh, to try to cheer him up again. She said, I'm, I'm faithful to you, you know, don't, don't worry, you know, I, my heart is with you. So now we have the second piece of today, uh, Bati Bati of Bel Masetto.
the blink of an eye, we have actually crossed two periods. So the first piece was the Baroque period with a lot of ornaments. The second piece that she presented just now is of the classical period. So everything is very structured, very tidy, and very pretty. So that's the characteristic of the music from that period. So now we enter to the next period, which is the Romantic period. So anything goes. Yeah. So it's song of the heart, emotions, a lot of blood and sweat. Erotic elements all come in the romantic period. So the next song that uh, she's going to sing is from the opera Faust, composed by Charles Gounod. This work was composed and premiered in the 1859. It's a French piece, uh, singing the character of Marguerite. So Faust is a philosopher who traded his soul with the devil in order to gain uh, unlimited knowledge as well as worldly pleasures. And um, so he fancies. So in this scene, um, he actually presented Marguerite with a treasure chest, put it right in front of her home. And uh, this is in contrast to another gentleman who in fact liked Marguerite as well, but he presented her with a rose. So Marguerite opens the door, she's given a choice of a rose or a chest of jewels. And this area is also called the jewel song because uh, the jewels are so nice and sparkly. Diamond is a girl's best friend, isn't it? Even back then. So yeah, so she's sing singing of her, her, her overwhelmed by the beauty of all these jewels. So we now have um Karenisa singing the character of Marguerite. Si je l'ouvrais, mon bidron 
lady happy, right? <laughs> Rose is not like it. <laughs> okay, yeah. So apart from singing arias today, Miss Karenisa has prepared a tweet, a surprise tweet. So Miss Karenisa is a very strong supporter of local Malay folk song tunes, and she works in UITM, so that it in fact produced a very nice Malay folk song from Malaysia songbook. Um, yeah, so she's going to take a break. Let's take a break from this journey and uh, let her introduce to you one of the pieces from this collection of uh, Thin Malays folk tune. And the tune is huh? Ala Chango. Just this book uh, that we have, just three copies is the Diriki per copy. So it's a it's a uh, modern arrangement. So you can hear the contemporary arrangement of this a very nice, very nice Malaysian folk tune for voice and piano. Okay, now we're back to our journey. Where were we? This period were we in? Uh, Romantic. Yeah, love. No. <laughs> okay, so the next song that she's gonna sing. Um, I'm sure everybody knows this melody. Everybody guarantees that you know it. So it's actually from the opera Kamen, written by Bizet in the year 1875. So this Carmen is um, quite feisty, a bit promiscuous as well. Uh, so it's a story of a love triangle and she died at the end. However, in this scene, this is the very beginning of the opera. So this is the first time she. she saw the, the man bed, like, and 
same case, don't post it. First time late eyes is not. So um, you can get more information on this program. I know this some of you don't have it, but we really add on the context if you have this with you. So without further ado, we have Arisa singing the character Kamu. The song Kamu. composed by the Abbey in the year 1855. The setting is in the 20, sorry, 1218 Palermo in Italy. It's roughly based upon the historic event of a uh, Sicilian re uh, revolution against the French control in Italy at that time. So it's a very long <laughs> opera, in fact, and uh, currently set sing the character of Elena and in this scene she sings this song of thanks to all her friends after she was pardoned to a death penalty in fact so it was a happy uh, it was a happy moment in this opera but however in the end things get dark again so I'll leave that to you to find out more about the story of the opera and now we welcome Karunisa with this aria Mecha and Amike.
basically opera, but uh, there's a trend in the early 90s, 2000s, where it's something called opera. It's a pop slash opera kind of singing. So the next piece that we will have with us, our guest tenor, Mr. Tan Jong Han, please welcome. And they're going to present to us a lovely duet and titles the prayer. So, give it to them.
Talks and um, thank you for supporting. You can always catch uh, Karunisa and Tajon Han with the Singing Balcony series. They are very active in the outreach program that's run by Versus Music Ensembles out of the Jongsan building. So um, yeah, do follow us on uh, Facebook and Instagram, Versus PJ, V E R S E S P J, to know of what's uh, our upcoming projects. And uh, we thank you so much for your time, your attention. Thank you so much to Yaya San Yulha for making this. This uh, recital is made possible with your support.